So we have a gate 2014 question right here, number 26. And we have two languages, A and B, where A mapping reduces to B. And we're asked to figure out which of these four answers is false. So the first one is, if B is recursive, another word for decidable, then A is decidable. So if B is decidable, A is. If A is undecidable, then B is also undecidable. If B is recognizable, A is recognizable. And if B is not recognizable, and then A is not recognizable. So pause the video, put into the comments what you think the answer is. So the answer is D. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, I should do it this way. D. So D is the right answer. So uh, it's the one that's false, not the one that's correct in terms of which one is true. Which one of them is false? D is the false one. So why is A, B, and C tr uh, true? Well, if B, if B is decidable, let's just look at this one because the other ones are similar. If B is decidable, then this says that A is decidable. Well, how can we decide A? Well, remember for mapping reductions right here, we have a computable function that converts instances over here to instances on the right side. So for some whatever input that we get, we don't know whether it's in A, the set A or not, then what we can do to figure out whether it is in there is to compute the f of w value and then use the decider for B, and then the answer is coinciding. And so let's remind ourselves what mapping reducibility is, that a given string w, we don't know whether it is in A or not, but if it is, then it is in, if the computed value f of w is in b. So remember that the f here is the, the function in the mapping reduction. And more importantly, it is computable. So, okay, let, let me actually rewrite that because that was not good. This is why we rehearse, Ryan. So it's a computable function mainly. So if I wanted to decide A, well, I have no idea how to. So what I do is I take this W, whatever it is, I don't know whether it's an A or not. Then I compute the value F over here, F of W, and then I run the decider for B. But the key thing is one thing I left out which is this backward arrow here. So the answer of whether W is in A is exactly the same as whether the computed value is in B. So this is really useful because if I just run the B decider, the answer is exactly the same as for A and then we're done. So therefore A is correct because if I can decide B, I just, I just move over here do the thing over here and the answer coincides over here. So I don't even need to think about A, I just run the decider for B. For answer B, it's actually the contrapositive of the original. So if A is undecidable, then suppose that B were decidable, then we can just come over here, it's still a computable function, so I just come over here, run the decider, and then now I just decided A. Well. <laughs> We already knew that A was undecidable to start with, which is a contradiction. So B must be undecidable too. So A and B are both true. C is true for the almost the same reason that A is. So it, if B is recognizable, again, it's a computable function. So I just come over here and I run the recognizer. Well, the recognizer might run forever, but that's okay because in the yes instance, uh, we will except over here. So the B machine, if it, if F of W really is in here, we will accept in a finite amount of time. And then, so the A machine is a recognizer because it accepts in a finite amount of time on the strings that are in the language A because the answer uh, coincides here. So in for the other strings, I just don't care, which is great. And D is not true because, ooh, so it's the, the correct answer, but it's false because 
uh, it's not the contrapositive of the C. If this said A recon not recognizable, then B not recognizable over here, so we swap them, then it would be true. But it, the order is wrong. It's the, it's the contra, contra converse. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a term for that, but it's like the contrapositive, but we uh, like negate again. Uh, although that's not quite true. Um, but it's, it's not the contrapositive, so it's not equivalent. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave your thoughts about the gate question down into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.